Okay, the EZT 2200 transmission in my Cup Cadet ZT1. Uh, I am going to be adding some drain plugs to this for a little bit more serviceability without having to extract the oil out of the top of the case. Um, it just doesn't work super awesome. And I wanna have a couple, a drain plug in each transmission. And I've done some research and it looks like it's going to be possible to do. Uh, and just uh, also one thing on the Hydro Gear, uh, this EZT 2200, they are offering, I think the newer version just now actually has a drain plug on the side of the case. So they added it uh, recently and mine's a 2020 model. So it's, it's been around for a while. Uh, I've got a hundred and almost 80 hours on this mower now. And I've only serviced the transmissions one time uh, but I like to do it annually and just make it easier. So uh, after doing some research and I'll throw up some, some pictures I found of the inside of this case and where a plug would actually fit without interfering with the um, pump, uh, I think it's gonna work. So let's go ahead and dive in. The thing I wanna talk about is uh, just a little safety factor here. If you are doing this, make sure you have jack stands under this this mower, if this thing falls on you, it'll be a bad day for you. It's very heavy. Um, I just set this up for demonstration. I have a lift, obviously, I'm using, but I would put the jack stands on each axle like this right here and maybe even use um, one more in the middle here, which you could do. Um, but make sure this thing is really secured before you're under it. And don't take any chances of uh, this thing falling on you. So please uh, keep that in mind when you're doing this. All right, just a quick rundown of all the tools you're gonna to need to do this job. Uh, first thing is a 14 millimeter ratchet for your new drain plugs. You got a nine millimeter socket for your, um, that's gonna be for your tap. You have an H quarter Allen tip for your um, fill plugs on your transmission to remove those and put them back on. Obviously a center punch. This right here is your tap and drill bit that comes in a kit. And I'll list this on the description. And a Sharpie. You need a pilot bit of some type. This is a cobalt bit. You don't need a cobalt. You can use anything. Just any small pilot bit to get your hole started. Don't try to drill with this first. Make sure and use a pilot bit. It'll make a world of difference for you. Uh, you have two... Um, these are the H12 by 1.25 magnetic drain plugs. And I'll list these also in the description where I got these. And if you want to go shallower, uh, you can also use this H12 by 1.25 Allen head um, bolt. And it will not hang down as much. So it's just another option for you if you didn't want to use the magnet. I think the magnetic is the way to go because it's going to pick up any uh, metal, any metals, you know, that's floating around the oil possibly. Uh, with wear and tear down the road with this thing. It's only going to help. Uh, a hammer for your center punch. Uh, this is the funnel I was referring to that works really good to put in the top of the transmissions to refill them. Uh, you can source these on Amazon. Uh, I'll send. A, I'll put up a link with that. Uh, just a cordless drill, some good degreaser because it's going to get a little bit messy when you're doing this, and an oil pan just to drain some oil in. So with all those tools, you will be set up for success. All right. We're going to look under here. So there's two options here. And I, you can see where I've done the circles. Let me see here. It's really tight under here. Sorry. Okay. So this would be the spot you would put it right here if you're going to do it on the side of the case. If you're going to do it under the case, you would do it right here. I'm going to go from the bottom of the case. It'll drain more oil out. And I don't think uh, a plug hanging down here is going to interfere with it hitting anything because it's in between. You can see these two ribs here with uh, the side cover bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark my hole and then start drilling. And uh, I'm going to tap it with a... Uh, so I'm using an M12 uh, 1.25 thread bolt for this. Um, and I'll... I'll show those here in just a second, what I've got with that. But So here we go. Uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about too is when you're, the whole location, so first of all, clean off your, your case really well. 
And this washer right here comes with the pack of uh, bolts uh, with the magnetic bolt in it. So this is a really good uh, template here to use. So basically what you want is you want this on a flat surface in the in, in the in the corner as most you know as close as you can get it to the corner you don't want to put it over here you don't want to put it right here you want to put it as close to the corner but be careful not to go too close and then this plug will not seat down completely so it has to be seated completely to seal up if you come over here too close and that thing's off kilter a little bit it's not going to work so uh, you have a little, little, a little bit of leadway here, like I said, but just you know, anywhere right, like right in there, that's probably where I'm gonna mark it. So it's it's completely flat, and then I'll I'll take my sharpie, draw inside, and then use my center punch and start my you hole. Can see where I got that hole lined up, um, and then here's my washer just to sh put it in perspective. So that's that's about dead center right there. But see, I have I got a little I got a little bit of wiggle room here, not much, but. Um, just in case that hole's off just a hair. But when you do that center punch, um, make sure that thing's dead nuts centered. This is the most important part of this whole entire process. If you get this wrong, you are you could be in bad shape and have a leaky, a leaky bolt. So take your time with this and just make sure it's completely on flat surface. Okay, I'm gonna start drilling this hole. I just wanna just show, give an example of how how easy this is to drill and just, how this metal is very soft. So just take your time. I mean, I'm going really slow and it, it's cutting through super, super easy. So this is gonna start coming out right away. So I'm gonna try to slide that pan over. There it is. Okay, so I got the pan under it now and uh it's it's draining so um i will get the uh bit for the uh, tap next and then uh, open up that hole even more okay i'm gonna go ahead and drill the hole for the top size and here we go this is gonna be real easy As you can see it's and it's gonna start dumping out of here uh, there's gonna be some that's just gonna get on the floor here but That's it. So you gotta be careful because that bit, see how it grabbed a little? You just gotta be careful not to uh, have it hit anything substantial. And now she's draining out. All right, I'm gonna start tapping this hole. Um, I don't have a handle for my, my tap here, but I'm just gonna use a nine millimeter uh, socket uh, with a ratchet All right, we, and I did this on the last one it's fine this this metal is very soft here so I mean really all you have to do is just start threading this thing in and it's going to cut right into it so it's a pretty easy tap and you'll see you just want to start putting some pressure up in there and then start threading in just giving pressure inward and just start turning it and it's going to start cutting and the nice thing is there's oil actually dripping out of here, which is what you want. You want to have cutting oil. So you don't need to use any oil, obviously, because this is cutting the threads right now. But you can see how easy it, it cuts the threads. And you can, you can back off a little if you want, just to recut back and then move forward with it again. But the nice thing is in this space right here, you have a pretty good amount of space above the case where the pump is not gonna interfere with this tap. And that's that's tapped right there. So I'll show you the thickness of this hole, uh, this case. It's, I mean, I'm guessing maybe a little less than, I mean, less than a quarter, quarter inch, but there's enough thread on there to uh, 
grab that bolt pretty good. And then you just want to pull out and you're good. So that hole is tapped. And I'm going to take my, my nut here, or my bolt, and run it in. Let's see how you, this should go right in pretty easy. Okay, see so this is so this is a good example of what when this is that's not grabbing super great. So I'm gonna run the tap through one more time, which is totally fine. And you want to just start this by hand, just like this, get that tap. It's just you're just cleaning out these threads. Sometimes they'll get a little debris in them, which is pretty normal when you're tapping stuff. We'll do it one more time here. That's feeling really good. All right, I'm gonna clean this off one more time. And let's give this one more shot. There we go. See how easy that, now that's what you want. See how easy that went in? So now you're threaded and uh, it looks like we're gonna make really good contact here. Um, flat surface. So we're, we're golden on this. So this that's exactly what you want right here. Uh, like I said, you don't wanna be too far over here or too far over here. You want it right on that flat surface in the corner of this transmission. When you tighten this bolt down, it's now a 14 millimeter bolt here. Um, you don't need to go crazy tight, man. So it's getting a little tight there. I'm going to go a little past snug, just like that. And you're good. Uh, you don't need anything crazy tight. If you go too tight with this, you will strip that hole out. And then you're going to be in for a, a new challenge to try to figure out something to plug that. So, um, I'm going to go ahead, run a quart of oil through it, flush it out again, and then top it back off with a quart and a half. Okay, I'm just going to end up uh, draining this one quart to uh, flush out, and um, and then I'll refill with the uh, 1520. I had some uh, I had some leftover. I think it's like 1540 I put in here just to flush any shavings that could potentially be in here. But you can see how much better it drains out. Oh, right, this is going to be night and day, man, from uh, that old way of uh, trying to suck it up from the top of the transmission. And I'll, I'll, now I'll service them annually because it's such gonna be such easy uh, process to do it. Okay, so we got, we're finished up, got both plugs in. Um, feel really good about this. It turned out just like I was hoping. Uh, now, if you look over here on this case, you see this this right here? That is another option for you. If you don't want to go in the bottom of your case, you can go right there and you have plenty of space behind that section of the case. Don't go anywhere else in here. Just do that one spot right there. I didn't, I liked it to go down here because you're going to get a lot more oil drained out every time. And I don't think this is going to have any problems with the case or cause any issues. Um, but yeah, so there we are, man. We've got, um, we got some, some drain plugs in and uh, now the next thing is just to purge the system and get all the air out. All right, let's talk about purging the system once you have everything filled up and uh, you're ready to mow again. It's pretty simple. The, only, the first thing you're gonna do on the ZT1 on my model year 2020, you're just gonna uh, pull these to put the transmission in neutral on both sides. And then you're gonna start up the mower and you're going to run it and then you're going to engage the handles here, front and back, like this, while the, while the motor's running. And you're gonna do that for about seven or eight times. You're gonna shut the mower off, and then you're gonna release these uh, back to drive, and on both sides here. And then when you do that, uh, you do the exact same sequence. Get in there, start the mower up, make sure you're obviously elevated off the ground 
and then run the mower and, and you're going to go forward and backwards. Again, both of these at the same time, forward and backwards, you know, about four or five seconds each time for about eight or nine times. And then you'll have all the air purged out of your, your mower and you'll be good to go. And once you're done purging, uh, you want to definitely recheck your, your fluid levels again, obviously where you filled the transmission up there. Um, they're supposed to be like between a core, I think it's between a half and one inch down from the top fill plug. And I, I have a quart and a half in here right now. So I'm going to recheck and uh, top off as needed, but make sure and do that. Uh, don't forget to do that after you get your purging done. Okay. That is a wrap. We got this thing done. Uh, one thing on the transmissions after you're done purging all the air out of them, uh, and you recheck them, uh, make sure and do that and i had to add a couple of ounces on each side it was it was a quart and a half gets you pretty close i think it's 1.75 in the manual but then again i mean when you're draining these out i don't think you're getting 100 percent of the fluid out uh obviously but uh even with the plugs now you should be probably 90 percent of it's going to come out and um, hopefully you learned something from this video and uh, you're able to do this to your mower and one one thing about this transmissions I have a Cub Cadet ZT1, but these these uh, EZT 2200s, they're in tons of different residential, uh, just you know, basic entry level mowers. So you can use this for anything. I mean, any brand, Toro, you know, Husqvarna, whatever it is, um, you'll more than likely probably, and you have a zero turn, you're probably gonna have one of these transmissions and uh, you can use use this uh, for your modification. So, but I hope it, I hope it works out for everybody and I hope you're able to uh, maintain your transmissions a little easier. And I think it's gonna extend the longevity of these two, just making it easier to, uh, to drain and uh, refill back up uh, in a fraction of the time. So that's about it. That's a wrap. If you have any comments, please comment below. Um, if you like the video, give me a like. If you uh, wanna subscribe to my channel, subscribe. I. I throw up videos every now and then. I'm just a week and wear hack guy. So, but uh, it's just kind of fun to make the videos and, uh, you know, pass some information along when you can. Uh, hope everybody's well and has a great day. Here you go.